Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well today. Today I wanna to show you how to transfer an image onto a dark piece of fabric. So for today, I'm going to be using a t-shirt. So the exact products that I'm using today, I'm using stabilizer and all of these I will link down below in the description box. But this is just a peel and stick stabilizer since I'm working on a t-shirt. It's a very flexible material, so I need something to be able to stabilize it for when I'm doing my embroidery. You're going to need your image of choice. In this case, I'm using Charco here. You are also going to need a piece of tulle, and I get mine in a big roll like this from Amazon. But you just need it big enough to be able to cover whatever the image is that you're using. A permanent marker, whether you want to use a thin one like this or a thicker one like this. And then I like to use a white gel pen, but in place of this, you can use an actual fabric marker, chalk pens, anything that will write on your fabric that you will be able to see. So sometimes they have them in wax, chalk, washable ink, markers, any of those will work, whatever your preference is. I will put down these exact ones if you're interested in them down below. So to start out, I like to go ahead and place my stabilizer first. I go ahead and flip my shirt inside out. I decide where I'm going to position my image. And then I just put down my actual stabilizer onto the fabric on the underside. So I went ahead and did that. I'm going to go ahead and turn this right side out. So here's the shirt that we're going to be working on. The stabilizer is right here on the inside. So for now, I'm going to set this off to the side because we don't need it quite yet. So you're just going to take your image that you're doing, you're going to take that piece of tool, set it right over the image that you're doing, and then I like to use a couple of pins. You could also use tape if you prefer. And then you're just going to take that marker of your choice and you're going to trace the outline of whatever the image is that you're doing. And like I said before, if you prefer a thicker marker, you can do that too. Okay, go ahead and remove your pins. When you pull that away, you'll have a faint outline of whatever it was you traced. Now go ahead and bring back your image, place it where you're going to want it on your garment, and then you're just going to pin it back down. You want to go ahead and pin it to that t-shirt or whatever it is that you're working on. Now you're going to grab that white gel pin or whatever it is that you're using. And you're just going to follow the exact same outline that you just did. And as you're doing it, you can see you end up with a line that you can actually see to be able to embroider. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and I will show you the final outcome. Okay, once you have your image completely transferred, you're just going to go ahead and pull out your pins lift up your tool and then you will reveal the image that you did. At this point you're ready to go ahead and put it into your hoop and start your work. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you have any questions go ahead and leave those down below in the comments section. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and until next time guys have a great day.